Once the Chu app has been paired with your Google Home, you can now set custom actions and custom routines so that you can tell your Google speakers exactly what you want them to trigger in terms of your smart home devices. This is particularly useful if your smart home devices on Google isn't quite doing what they should be doing. Sometimes they work in reverse. Sometimes they're just not opening or closing correctly. This would definitely fix the issue. So it's very, very simple. All you need to do is to go onto your Chew app, select Scene, and you're gonna create these tap to run scenes. So these are essentially virtual switches. So how you do that, click on to add, select launch tap to run, click on the plus icon next to then, control single device, and you, select, you can select any of your devices, for example, a blind. You can select the controls, open, stop or close. So in this example, we're going to select open, click on to next, click on to save, give it a scene, give it a scene name. This could just be whatever you want to name this virtual switch. something like this, open blind. And now this is a virtual switch that has now been created. And this will trigger that device that you've just set up. Now go to your Google and you can now set up custom routines and phrases. Select here are all your devices that is linked to your Chuya app or Smart Life app. Go on to automations select add household and now add a starter so you can select loads of different triggers in this case we want to select a google phrase for example hey google open blind add starter and here Select add action, select adjust home devices. And here, sometimes all of your devices won't be showing here. So instead add scene, and you should be able to see the scene on the True app that you've just created. So for example, here, we just created open blind, select open blind, add action, click on to save. And now what you have just created is a routine that whenever you say, OK, Google, open blind, it will now trigger that smart switch or that virtual switch that then open that device that you just set up.